Welcome back to Destiny the Taking King, everybody, all of you guardians and YouTubers and game enthusiasts. My name is Tough Buddy, and um, as you can tell over my... Is that my left shoulder? Shoulder? <laughs> the mark of the nine is here, and there's purple flowers up in the planter, and that can only mean our favorite squid-faced-looking piece of visitor <laughs> is here. Now, I already know where he is, it's not hard to find, and we're going to find him right here in the Hall of Guardians. Actually, I think that's the Hall of Guardians. I think out here is like... I, I, I don't know. It's all crucible stuff, but... Anyways, here he is. Okay, and this week... There is something inside me that wishes to connect. You know what? He says some really creepy things. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put that out there. All right, so let's see. For the Titan class, he has Twilight Garrison. For the Hunter, it's the ATS-8 Arachnid. It's a helmet. For the Warlock, he has the Ram. I already have that. Uh, Hawkmoon Hand Cannon. I don't like hand cannons, and I'm definitely not going to spend 23 strange coins on this one. And then a legacy en engram for 31 strange coins. Now, I may be here. I may be here. What the heck is this? I'm going to get rid of this. No wonder I could. See, I already have a ram. It's 310. Um, I'm going to be buying... Guardian. Guardian the ram I guess, I guess I could buy any of the 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 armor I just can't use these two but the reason I'm buying one is because I'm gonna break it down for the exotic shard this also, uh, actually is if you have got everything this is a good way to just you know collect your strange coins and basically you get a piece of gear that you're gonna break down for the exotic shard and it's a good way to get exotic shards so you can upgrade your exotic you know, your other stuff. Dismantle, exotic shard, thank you very much. Okay, now I have been playing um, a lot of Iron Banner, and oh, damn it, I don't have it. Let's go to the vaults. Goodbye, sir, thank you very much. I'll probably come back to you in just a minute, depending on how I feel. Uh, okay, here. I have been getting a lot of hack ons hatchets. Look at this. Here's one that's 314. Here's one that's 311. Here's one that's 314. And in my inventory, I have one that is a 311. So, since I have two of the 314s, actually, let's go back in there and get it. Which one is the one? I wonder which one is the one I've been using. I don't want to use. I think it's this one. Let's take this one. Let's see. I'm sorry, I just, I've been using it in. Yeah, this one hasn't been, I've been, I've had the other one almost all the way upgraded or upranked or whatever the heck the word is. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this 314 Hackons Hatchet to upgrade one of my exotic primaries. Um, and I haven't even used the bad juju. I'm really tempted to do this because I love my Monte Carlo, but I've been trying to stay away from it so I don't get so connected to it that I don't use anything else, which is why I've been using the um, the Soros regime. I guess I could use it to upgrade that. Yep, let's do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the Soros regime with the exotic shard that I got from the helmet that I bought from Zer. And I'm so glad that the infusion system is the way it is because that means that this is going to go all the way up to 314. So happy. Okay. 311, 314. 1, 2, 3. Voila. The Soros regime is now 314 and has now my highest light level or highest level primary weapon. See, I have another, I have, well, I have two 311s, but I was kind of saving to see, like, if I get one that's, like, in the 320s. 
um, that I would upgrade the Monte Carlo. Or maybe the bad juju. I still have not yet. I want to use it so that I can get used to it and be like, oh, you know, maybe I like it or maybe I don't. But I'm just not. Just stand right next to me, bro. Damn, I can smell your underarm deodorant or lack thereof. Um, yeah. Okay, so I don't have very many strange coins left, and it's only Friday, which means that he'll be here all the rest of today and all of Saturday. And I always say that every week, saying like, oh, I'll come back if I get some more strange coins. And I never, ever, ever do. Okay. Um, I only have 13 left. I feel like I'm just going to go ahead and get some three of coins. And then that way, I only have... How many do I have left? I have five. So if I get eight more, I'll get another piece of gear so I can get an exotic shard. And then... That motivates me to get out there and keep playing the freaking Iron Banner. Almost to rank 5. Thank God it's been grueling. <laughs> but I was wondering that now that I um, have... Oh no, I don't have it. That's all of that. 313. Um, I was wondering if my light level... Because I kept getting... Hack on's hatchets, you know, in like the three tens. And I did get a Tormod's Bellows, another Tormod's Bellows at 312. And I'm just wondering if it's my. Is it my rank in the Iron Banner that's making me not get stuff in like 320s or 330s? Or is it my overall light level that's making me not get it? In which case, I should probably. I mean, I should try that out and see if that makes a difference. I don't know. I'll have to report back. All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little Zer visit. Not that it's really that informative, or that it's that that he's that hard to find. As I tell you, every time I do a Zer video, it's mostly just to kind of go see what he's got, and um, kind of what I'm going to be doing with that stuff. I have, I think, almost all of the Warlock exotic armor. I think I think there's maybe one helmet that I don't have but um, I'm not worried about not getting it okay that's it thanks so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe it helps me out and I really really appreciate it you guys go out have the best possible day ever it's the weekend go celebrate have yourself I I, I don't know what would you like right now um, a pineapple upside down cake? That sounds good. Okay. Stay tough. Bye.